Welcome to this video of Class Notes. Uh, this video will be covering the Common Core Learning Standard 6EE1, which is to write and evaluate numerical expressions involving full number exponents. Now, to achieve this standard, we have two learning objectives. Objective number one, write an expression with exponents, and number two, evaluate an expression with exponents. To achieve these learning objectives, First, we have to look at a few vocabulary words. The first one is exponent. An exponent is the little number written next to another number, or with a small 2 next to it. The 2 is the exponent. It means the number is multiplied by itself that many times. Let's say you have 4 with an exponent of 2. That is equal to 4 times 4 which, when you simplify it, is 16. Another example is if you have 2 with a 5 as the exponent. That means the 2 is multiplied by itself 5 times. So you have 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2, which is 32. The next word is squared. Squared means the number has an exponent of 2. As an example, we have 5 squared. Squared is also used when measuring area. For example, we have a square that is 5 centimeters by 5 centimeters. To find the area of the square, we take 5 times 5 and we get 25 centimeters squared. Notice how the centimeter unit has 2 over it. That means it's squared. Cubed. Cubed means a number has an exponent of 3. For example, we have 6 cubed, which means we have 6 with an exponent of 3. Cubed is also used when measuring volume. Let's say we have a cube with its length, width, and height measuring 6 centimeters each. To find the volume, you take 6 times 6 times 6, and you get 216 centimeters cubed. Raised to the nth power. The n is the number used as the exponent. As an example, 2 to the fourth power would be the same as 2 with an exponent of 4. Now let's go back to the learning objectives. Objective number 1, write an expression with exponents. Let's say we have 3 squared. The way you write that is a 3 with a 2 as the exponent. 2 cubed plus 5. To write this, you would have a 2 with a 3 as the exponent plus 5. 6 to the 7th power minus 8. To write this, you would have 6 with 7 as the exponent minus 8. Now, Objective 2. Evaluate an expression with exponents. 4 cubed, or 4 raised to the third power, is the same thing as 4 times 4 times 4. When you multiply 4 by 4 by 4, you get 64, and so 64 is our final answer for that expression. Let's say we have 2 raised to the fourth power minus 13. We have an exponent and we have a subtraction sign in our expression. In the order of operations, exponents come before uh, subtraction, so you do that first. When you evaluate 2 to the 4th power, you get 16, so you can rewrite it as 16 minus 13, and then when you solve that, you get 3, circle it, that's your final answer. Next example, we have 3 squared times 4. The exponent comes before doing multiplication, so we simplify the 3 squared first, and then we will multiply it by 4. So we can rewrite 3 squared as 9 times 4, and the final answer is 36. Let's say we have 4 squared plus 3 squared. We have three operations in this expression. We have two exponents, and we have an addition sign. 
we do the exponent first, and then we add at the end. 4 squared is going to be 16, and 3 squared would be 9. So we have 16 plus 9, and when we add those together we get 25. Circle that, and that's the end of this video. So if you have questions, comments, or concerns, you can email me at classnotesvideos at yahoo.com, or you can look me up on YouTube using the keyword class notes videos. You have a good day.